Welcome back to the channel, fat boys. You remember when you first started to ride and you got your very first bike? Remember that excitement that you had? Well, come join me today and let's go get my friend his very first bike. Let's go. What made you want to start buying a bike? Man, it was a conversation with my younger brother, like over Christmas, you know, we were just chit-chatting, shooting the breeze, and he was like, you know, he had said something about a bike, and I was like, yeah, man, we should get some bikes, you know what I'm saying, go riding it. And I figured if I ain't do it now, I wasn't never gonna do it, so, you know, did it. Well, you're also just that type of person that, when you have an idea, you just hop on it. Like you can't hesitate on it. Yeah, You're it's called uh, ADHD. O C A D A D H A D H O C D. <laughs> I've probably been looking at bikes like every day since I, I made the decision I was gonna do this. So, you know, had to wait for the right one to come along. It came along, and here we are. You know what I'm saying? How old are you? And does it feel weird that you're weird or exciting that you're wanting to be doing this right now? I just turned 40, so this is like my 40th birthday present. Oh, so, I mean, so you're going through midlife crisis right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> midlife crisis, you know, uh, I just came back from Paris, so that was a birthday present in itself, but you know, uh, that was that was some other stuff. Like this right here, this is the real gift. Just be looking for things to do, you know what I'm saying? I don't have any kids, I don't have a wife. Um, you wanted to change things up in your life. Yeah, you know, you're just trying to switch it up, you know, like, you know, you work hard, you want, you want to play a little bit hard. Work hard, play hard. You know, it's one of them kind of things. Like, and like I said, if I didn't do it now, I wasn't going to do it. What made you choose this bike? I, saw, I remember you were looking at other bikes, but what made you pick yeah, on this one? I wanted something that looked kind of classic. Like, I want to do like a cafe racer kind of thing. So I always liked how those bikes looked. So, you know, TU250X has got good bones for doing something like that. So that, that's how I got there with that. So 250 is a little small of a bike, in all honesty, but it's still like for where we live, which is mostly backcountry roads, uh, really windy, and also like every everything is like really low speed limits. So yeah. you're gonna be fine. They're like, this is you my have, commute bike. This yeah. is my commute to places bike. This isn't my we going cross country bike. Yeah, you know we'll get to that. You know you'll be able to easily work up from here, which is why I'm trying to get you to not try and like do all your mods to this bike because you're gonna regret it after like six months you're gonna be like oh man my bike looks so good but it doesn't move worse shit so now i gotta sell it and get something that does right <laughs> right 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 right, right. So i'm trying to be the person that i wish i had when i started riding right because i never knew anyone that ride i didn't have any friends that ride so I never had a person to like ask all these questions and help guide me to make sure I was making the right decisions. Right. I kind of figured all this out on my own. So like, right. No, I appreciate the help because I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's, it's 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 crazy that I work with you. You're like the office like across the way. I probably wouldn't even had a bike if it wasn't for that. Like to be honest, like if it wasn't for that aspect, I you know I don't know who to ask the questions. Now it's time to go and hop on the bike, do a quick little test ride for him. So let's go do that. Let's go on ahead and hop on this little thumper. Woo! She 
definitely a beginner bike. Zero to 60 and eventually. Here we go. We're going. We're going. <laughs> She fun. Yeah, she's fun. A little thumper. She's fun. It's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Very much so. I'm a newbie, yes, <laughs> but you know. We call you squid, so it's fun. Right, right. <laughs> that would be a good one for you. <laughs> yeah. And you can't go wrong with Suzuki made in Japan and run forever. It, yeah. And it's not even broken in yet in no. Japanese terms. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. My mom didn't even cuss me out too much. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even get mad at me like that. You, know? you feel comfortable on it? Yeah. Here, um, take a seat on it. Now you can put your legs up. Feel good? Feel comfortable? Mm-hmm. Knees hugging the tank. We all good, you know? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's load it up. How's it feel to finally get your first bike? Oh, it feels great. It's gonna feel even better when I, you know, get on that thing and, and do the thing, you know? Do the thing? Do the thing. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do the thing. Get on there. Yeah, my boy, uh, Fat Boy Bob, you know, <laughs> Fat Boy Bob, <laughs> Fat Boy Bob, you know, he helping me out with this. I appreciate it, you know, and, uh, you know, we're going to go on some fun rides, you know, get it in. It's, it's going to be a good time. going to teach you how to actually ride. Yeah, you know, because I'm a novice, <laughs> you know, but soon to be, you know, not a novice. So, yeah. What's the thing you're most excited for to start riding about? Uh, I'm, I'm excited to, you know, learn, like really what I'm, you know, learn what I'm doing, you know, like um, it's a new experience, you know, I'm excited to learn. I'm excited to go fast, you know, I'm excited to, you know, just just do something different, you know, be in a, be in a different mode of transportation. You know, I'll be excited because it's getting hot and I hate hot weather just so we can make that clear. I detest hot weather, but this will make the hot weather more bearable. It'll make it more fun. You know, it, it'll give me like an outlet and you know, I can get some of that wind hitting me and you know, maybe I won't be as hot off. A little wind time. therapy for yeah, you. Yeah, a little wind therapy, you know. <laughs> Instead of standing in front of a uh, windmill, we'll do this. I want you to know you're gonna start taking the long way to work from now on. Absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. When I first started riding, all I did was I was like, huh, work is only like 10 miles away. Let's make it 50 miles. How can, <laughs> we extend, how can we extend this out before we actually have to go in here and do some work? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have a driver, so you don't have a motorcycle license right now, but because we live in Virginia, we actually I got have, a permit. Exactly, we got a permit. So I, got a permit. I know we're gonna be taking, I know I'm gonna be taking you out to the parking lot so I can be teaching you the basics before you start getting into the class because I don't know if the class is different if you have a permit or anything like that. Maybe it is, maybe you don't have to take a full class if you're able to prove that you like know how to ride it. So are you excited to like actually be going out into like the parking lot so you can like actually learn how to do all of your controls and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, like the, the learning process is, is exciting because you know, I ain't never did this before, you know. You, I mean, I, I learned to drive a car driving a stick, but this is different. It's a stick, but it's, you know, different. It's, it's a foot. It's a foot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so it, you know, it's one of those type things. Like, it's, it's a new challenge, kind of, sort of. Gas is too high right now. We need to, everybody need to be on a bike, to be honest. Like, 
you know, I just came back from Paris. Paris is a motorcycle, scooter city. You know what I'm saying? Like literally everybody. All of Europe is. Yeah. You know, Europe is just like that. Like, so it's, it's one of those type things for like where y'all gonna keep charging $4 per gas. I can't afford it to put it in my car and I got a tiny car. Imagine if we lived in California. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. That's why I got into it. Actually, oh, yeah, yeah, I actually got into motorcycling because I wanted to cut down on gas. And this ends Robert's first day as an official motorcycle owner. How you feeling, bud? Feeling accomplished, <laughs> even though we ain't did shit yet. Soon he will be on the bike. I will make sure to get that on camera. I'm going to be teaching him in a couple weeks, so to speak. See how that goes. We'll be teaching him how to actually get on a bike. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you come back and stick around. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. If you aren't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Bad okay. boy Bob. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>